excited to be the principal here at this school. It, it's a dream come true. Uh, Pastor Lance and I met about three years ago to discuss the possibility of starting a Christian school as a ministry of uh, Calvary Chapel Oxnard. In our discussion, he shared with me the vision that God had laid on his heart. Uh, the vision for the school is to produce graduates that know how to think and live biblically, who understand their God-ordained calling and are prepared to be able to take their field captive to Christ. Every subject that we teach here is taught from a biblical perspective. We want our students to have a reverence to God's Word, to really understand uh, God's calling in their life so that the vocation, whatever vocation they decide on or that God leads them to, is one in which they can glorify the Lord. One of the things the Lord has shown me is that He's gifted me um, as a nationally board certified teacher and in education to help provide guidance for both students and teachers. I've done a lot of research into teacher effectiveness in quality schools and I am excited to be able to use those gifts and talents that the Lord has given me to help mentor our new teachers and our students as they map out their path to college. Uh, students have gone to various campuses, Westmont College for example, they've gone to Cal State Channel Islands for career day as well. We've had various speakers come in from colleges uh, and universities to speak. So our goal is to, ex to expose students to a variety of occupations and again seeking God's direction in their life. We are meeting at Grace Bible Church. Um, the church, we're being a blessing to the church as well as the church is a blessing to us by providing classrooms that we might be able to meet. The great thing about working at a Christian school is being able to integrate biblical values and ideas into the curriculum, which you don't get at a public school. Especially in history and in English, I love to be able to talk about not only what we're learning, but the moral aspects of it as well. Some of our field trips have included a trip to the Griffith Observatory, and some of our labs have included dissecting owl pellets and making our own roller coasters, consisting of tubes and marbles. Our room was a big mess of all these roller coasters, but they have good time. We do use the gym four days a week, uh, four PE classes, uh, doing everything from exercises to volleyball to basketball. I try not only to to, to work with them in regards to physical education, but to instill in them uh, how important it is for them uh, to live pure and holy lives, to be, to be um, righteous in every facet of their life. One of the distinctives of Calvary Chapel is verse-by-verse -verse teaching through the Bible. And so even in our Bible class, that's our, our model, we, we teach verse-by-verse We'll give students a foundation in theology and, and apologetics. We teach the students about worship from a biblical perspective. We also teach them how to play guitar and piano. Uh, and we also teach them about music theory. I teach keyboard, I teach guitar. We do some singing and get them actually ready for a possible um, college career in music. Each week we have chapel here at our school and we've had a number of speakers that were uh, exciting speakers from the community. We've had veterans describing uh, their experiences during uh, various wars. It's been exciting to enhance our curriculum by taking the students uh, on a variety of field trips. Uh, we've been able to go to uh, Point Magoo and, and learn all about um, what uh, occurs on the naval base. We have a number of electives. We've had um, Suzanne Still come and teach a cooking class and the students learned how to properly set a table. They've done cake decorating and, and just a variety of things. Dr. Donna Ward uh, taught drama here at the school as well, getting students used to being up on stage. Dr. Sid Ward, who taught financial planning, he taught students how to write checks, how to, to save money. And so we, we want to be able to come around the lives of those young ones and to share with them that they can have their own relationship with God, that they can um, they can choose at that young age to, to decide whether they're going to live for the Lord or they're going to live for the world. And of course, in our school, we're going to encourage them to, to live for, for Christ and to pursue the path that, that He has created them for.